The election was historic, not just on turnout, but because of the new faces going to Capitol Hill. Two local incoming congressmen will be the first and only on many fronts. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas has this. This election season, residents in the South Bronx, Westchester, and Rockland counties cast their ballots to make history. But who would have thought? The first openly LGBTQ elected official in New York City would come not from Chelsea or, the, or Hell's Kitchen, uh, but from the South Bronx. Both Richie Torres and Mondaire Jones are now the only Afro-Latino and black openly gay members of Congress. To grow up poor, black, and gay is to not see yourself anywhere. Both men come from similar backgrounds and ascended up the ranks. Getting over the impressions that it takes to run for office, to gain access to the ballot, to actually mobilize communities. Mondaire Jones won in a district that is 58% white. That's huge. Shijuade Kadri is a chief advocacy officer for the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Community Center. Both Richie and Mondaire, as I mentioned, brilliant, accomplished, um, and seen as quote unquote electable, but they wouldn't have been even 10 years ago. It's why Jones calls this a watershed moment. We are now able to use our lived experiences to inform the policy making discussions. Jones and Torres now become the example to others they personally never had. A young kid of color or an LGBTQ kid or poor kid from the Bronx, I hope you can see your story in, in me. Tours and Jones want to champion mainstream issues, including the economic impact from the pandemic. But they say they're going to do it with a firsthand understanding, bringing their whole selves that will consider the concerns they say of more people in their communities. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News.